ever wondered what Ethernet and Wi-Fi are and how they differ? Well, today we dive into the world of technology to understand these two methods of connecting to the internet. Imagine a bustling city with various modes of transport. Ethernet is like the dependable train service running on a fixed track, while Wi-Fi is akin to taxis, flexible and mobile, but sometimes subject to interference. Both serve the same purpose to get you from point A to point B or in tech terms to connect you to the internet. Ethernet, the reliable train, is a wired connection that physically links your device to the internet, typically via a cable connected to a router. This method of connection has been around since the 1970s and it's known for its stable, consistent connection, high data transfer speed and superior security. Ethernet is a widely used networking technology for connecting devices within a local area network or LAN. It defines the rules and standards for how devices communicate with each other over a wired connection. Originally developed by Xerox in the 1970s and standardized by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers IEEE as IEEE 802.3, Ethernet has evolved over the years to support various speeds and media types. Ethernet networks typically use twisted pair copper cables cables or fiber optic cables to transmit data between devices. The Ethernet protocol governs how data is packaged and transmitted, including addressing packet format, error handling, and collision detection. Ethernet allows multiple devices to share the same network segment, enabling efficient communication and data exchange. It is widely used in homes, businesses, data centers, and industrial environments for connecting computers, printers, servers, routers and other network devices. Ethernet technology continues to advance with newer standards such as Gigabit Ethernet, 10 Gigabit Ethernet and even faster speeds like 25 Gigabit Ethernet and 100 Gigabit Ethernet, providing increasingly faster and more reliable network connections. On the other hand, Wi-Fi, the flexible taxi service, provides wireless internet access. It operates by broadcasting internet signals over radio waves, allowing devices within range to connect to the internet without the need for physical wires. It's the epitome of convenience, mobility, and ease of use. Wi-Fi, short for wireless fidelity, is a technology that enables wireless local area networking or WLAN based on IEEE 802.11 standards. It allows devices to connect to a network wirelessly, providing internet access and facilitating communication between devices without the need for physical cables. Wi-Fi operates by using radio frequency signals to transmit data between devices and wireless access points or routers. Devices such as smartphones, laptops, tablets, smart TVs, and IoT or Internet of Things devices can connect to Wi-Fi networks, allowing users to access the internet, share files, stream media, and more. Wi-Fi networks can be set up in homes, businesses, public spaces, and other locations, providing flexible and convenient connectivity options. The range performance of Wi-Fi networks can vary depending on factors such as signal strength, interference, and the capabilities of the devices and access points involved. Over the years, Wi-Fi technology has evolved to support faster speeds, greater range, and improved security features. Different Wi-Fi standards such as 802.11n, 802.11ac, and the latest 802.11ax or Wi-Fi six offer varying levels of performance and features to meet the demands of modern wireless networking. Now, let's compare the two. Wi-Fi and Ethernet are both networking technologies used to connect devices within a local area network or LAN, but they have several key differences. Ethernet, with its direct physical connection, offers higher speeds and a more stable connection. It's less prone to interference and provides better security, making it a favorite for tasks that require a robust, secure, and consistent connection, such as online gaming or handling sensitive data. Wi-Fi, however, offers the freedom to move around without being tethered by a physical connection. It's perfect for mobile devices and situations where flexibility is key. But this freedom comes with trade-offs. Wi-Fi connections can be affected by interference from other
other devices or even physical obstructions and they generally offer slower speeds compared to ethernet security wise while wi-fi networks can be secured with passwords and encryption they are inherently more vulnerable than ethernet due to the nature of wireless transmission anyone within the signal range could potentially attempt to access a wi-fi network whereas ethernet requires physical access to connect. Overall, the choice between Wi-Fi and Ethernet depends on factors such as speed, requirements, reliability, mobility needs, and the layout of the network environment. In many cases, a combination of both technologies may be used to provide optimal connectivity and performance. Ethernet and Wi-Fi are two different means to the same end connecting to the internet. Ethernet, like a dependable train, offers speed, stability, and security, but lacks mobility. Wi-Fi, akin to a taxi, provides flexibility and convenience at the cost of speed, stability, and potential security. In a sense, the choice between Ethernet and Wi-Fi depends on what's more important to you in a given situation. Speed and security or flexibility and convenience. Both have their strengths and weaknesses and understanding these can help you make the most of your internet connection.